Square Enix loves to take a game and tease players with it for years and years. Even with its western developed titles, like Deus Ex Mankind Divided, the game has not had a shortage of promotional content. The game has had a ton of trailers as well as gameplay demos shown off prior to even last year's E3. In fact, just last week Square Enix revealed a live action trailer promoting the game. As a result, it is hard to really pinpoint when we last saw the title in action, because we've seen so much of it. However, if there is one thing Deus Ex Mankind Divided is known for, it may not be his trailers, but its pre-order debacle. Those that remember Mankind Divided's previous release date will recall that Square Enix implemented a tiered pre-order system, where fans could get the game three days before release. After this plan was nearly universally panned, Square scrapped the promotional plan and the game was ultimately delayed. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is a sequel to the 2011 title Deus Ex Human Revolution. The game takes place in a futuristic science fiction setting where many humans have robotic augments to improve their abilities. Unfortunately, an outside group managed to take control of these robotic implants and are now able to control those that possess the augments. As a result, the rest of the population becomes very hostile towards the augments due to their uncontrollable actions, which leads to a semi-apartheid state with the augments being oppressed. It is the job of Adam Jensen, the playable character, to take down the secret organization and save society. The last console Deus Ex title was spectacular. The developers did an excellent job of creating an RPG in the truest sense. Players could level up and adjust their playstyles however they saw fit. If someone wanted to run through the entire game without killing a single soul, they could do that. If another player wanted to take down every enemy in the game lethally, they could do that as well. The gameplay was customizable to the max. Moreover, the story was also deep. Players had the option to choose from dialogue choices in a very similar manner to Mass Effect, which changes the story down the line. If Mankind Divided is even half as good as its predecessor, then it's absolutely worth playing. With an August release inching closer and closer, Square Enix will show a ton of the game at E3. It is their final chance to truly market the game on a huge stage. The developers already announced a gameplay stream that will take place right before E3, and the show floor will have a huge theater demo for members of the press. Expect a full breakdown of the game's mechanics. If you try, you will be an expert on the game by the time the E3 is over. Which games are you excited for at this year's E3? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and like the video as well.